I, I, it's on my phone, so I can't remember. Okay, so I promised y'all we was going to make some, um, show you an idea to something a little different for New Year's Eve. Or, no, sorry, New Year's Day. Are you on her Wi-Fi? Probably sure. No. I'm not going to get on there and slow it down. I'm just on my phone. Okay. okay, so a little something different for New Year's Day with the cabbage. I'm going to show you how to make some cabbage jambalaya. Now, my friend Maddie showed me how to make this. So this is her kitchen. That's why we're down the street visiting. Now, in this pot, I've already browned about a pound and a half to two pounds of ground meat and about a pound of uh, smoked sausage. Now, what we're going to add next? Start adding everything together. Okay. So now we're going to add two cans of Rotel. Here you go, Camille. Can you toss that? I have my lovely assistant who's texting. We got two cups of rice. Does it come out brown like a, uh, no. Okay, let's give that a stir. Michael. Steer it. Yeah, like my twins used to say when they were little. Can I steer it, Mama? You can still touch that. He did say steer the other day. It's the same thing. Don't get it. You're teaching better. All right, now you can cut up your own uh, onion and bell pepper and stuff, but you know around here we like to use the, the pre-cut up stuff. So it's just the Trinity. And we're going to add two of these tubs to this. As Maddie says, the more the merrier. She's trying to be quiet. I don't know why. She's very talkative normally. She don't want to be on camera, she said. Michael, you see that one cup? Can you put me two cups of water in this thing? Yeah. Two cups, right, Maddie? Because we were done with it. All right. So this is pretty easy. This is about all that's to it. And then we're gonna add our cabbage. Go ahead and toss it in here, babe. Oh. What? Of mm -hmm. onions? Mm -hmm. Let's just give it a good stir. Look how pretty it is. Nothing else is pretty. It's Christmas. It is Christmassy. A lot of red and green in there. When I make my uh, cornbread dressing and rice dressing, I use a lot of cut up onions and stuff, so it makes sense to do that for this too. You know what else I was thinking, Maddie? I was thinking, oh, I bet you if I go to Jerry Lee's and buy some boudin, you don't like boudin though, huh? Mm -hmm. I bet you that'd be good if I cut it up, cut it open and put the stuffing in there. Mm -hmm. Kelly, that's what you need. You need me and Camilla squat down back there and just stuff like Julia Childs. I know. Have y'all watched Julia on HBO yet? It's a show about Julia Childs, and when she was doing her cooking show, she had two little girls stuck behind the counter here, and they would hand her stuff. Come on, get down there. Let's practice. All right, so you're going to need a big, huge pot because cabbage, as you know, cooks way down. I don't know. I think this pot's going to be big enough. I had a rag in the bottom of here to absorb the water. This is my big old bowl. Y'all remember this big old mama jama? Still even got the hook in it. Huh? Still even has the hook in it. Mm -hmm. I just really want to use my hands. Yeah. They're saying it looks fuzzy. Does it? I bet it's because you're on the phone. Well, it looks clear on my end. Hey, uh, oh, how is that, Christine? That's a, that's nice the way you spell it. It's different. Bet you can't find a little name tag, like the little, <coughs> like when you were little and you'd want the little uh, license plate for your bike. Bet you couldn't find it spelled that way. I'm just kind of steering it in there, is what the little twins would say. Mill, does that embarrass you when I say stuff like that? No. Does it embarrass if you said stuff like, uh... Salt. 
they had to go to the doctor today. They got, um, they were coughing, so they went and got them a little steroid. But they still want to go. Go, go, go. I don't feel sick. I feel fine. That's that steroid. I feel fine. Okay. So what did you need the, this for? Well, that's for the black eyed peas, but I didn't soak them, so we'll do those later. And then, y'all have, do y'all cook cornbread with your New Year's Eve? Why do I keep saying New Year's Eve? New Year's Day? You think it's okay? I mean, it's full that's of the tick. Yeah. You might have here and mix it up. God, that's so smart, Maddie. Maddie said dump it in the big bowl and mix it up. Alright. She's so smart. I know. She's the brains of this operation. Let's scoot it over here so you can get a good look. Look how much. <clears throat> Looks like I'm feeding an army. It kind of looks like bell peppers. peppers. Yeah. You like stuffed bell peppers? Mm. Have you ever had bell pepper soup? Oh, it's so good. Mm. You would like it if you like stuffed bell peppers. Looks like Ethan's plate here made them. It's your cereal bowl on Ethan. Alright, now we got it all mixed up together. One, two cups was enough water? I don't even see water in here. She's saying yeah. Alright. Oh shit. I wonder why she doubts this man. Well, look at it. It's just not any water in it. There's water all in the stuff, babe. All in the uh, cabbage. cabbage. Now, I guess we'll get. This is nice. That's going to take forever. Yeah. It'll be fine. I'm just transferring it back to the pot. Where you got this thing at, Maddie? Look at this. It's kind of like a little cup on the... Is it an antique? Um, at the, uh, you know, where you buy restaurant supplies. Oh, yeah. My friend has a restaurant. I need to get, she goes well, about once a week to that place. There's the water. I see it down there. You don't have to pour that in there when you're done. No. The water? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just eating. Can I ask what you're making? This is a cabbage jambalaya. <clears throat> just to give you another little idea for New Year's and then we're going to do an easy pot of um, black eyed peas and then we're going to have this and we're going to have ham and cornbread anything else I'm forgetting? We need grapes. Grapes? Yeah, I saw this thing on TikTok. You have to eat 12 grapes under a table. What? <laughs> Okay, that, okay, that's, um, you do that at midnight on New Year's Eve. That's a Spanish thing. Um, why? I don't know, but I don't know about the table part. I just know you eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. Where did you hear that from, that little Spanish movie on Disney? No, it's Enchilada. a thing they do in Spain. I saw that on TikTok. They do it to eat Eight for one? I don't want to say it. Portions? No! They do it for what? I don't want to say it. Just tell me, I'll say it. No. Well, come whisper it to me. Well, is it for good luck or money? Or? I need good luck. Big boobs? No. What, what is, is it? Tell Maddie. <laughs> is, is it for money or luck or health? Love. Oh, it's for love. It's a love potion. Well, I don't need to do oh, that. Oh, for Wiley? Oh, he watches our show? No. 
Then why are you wearing me? I know people who did you wrong. <laughs> so last night, we were um chilling out, getting ready for bed. What time do you think it was, Michael? <coughs> Anyways, we started hearing fireworks going off, and I'm like, here we oh, go. Oh, that's about 8 o'clock. Because my dogs go crazy for fireworks. So, they were all inside shaking. I told Michael, might better go ahead and give him some melatonin. So, he started passing them out. And they was just going off, oh, ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. I said, shoot, I'm about to I mean, it, it sounded like, you know, it, it, when it hits New Year's and everybody sets off the big stuff. Yeah, and it was like shaking my house. It was loud. And so, I go outside and I see this huge pillar of smoke. And I'm like, that don't look right. So I went and got Michael, and he's like, somebody's house is on fire. So a couple streets over in the neighborhood. Well, I guess that's not really in the neighborhood, is it? Whatever. Right down the street from this this guy's barn went up. Thank you. He got his horses out. I called you three times, man. Horses in there? Yeah, we kept trying to call you, Maddie, see if he wants to go ride with us. Need to eat. I think you you need to eat. Hmm. What'd you say? That's what I heard. <laughs> of course you yeah, I wanted to. Yeah. Anyways, I think his horses are fine, and um, I don't I think know he about. lost all his chickens. I think he lost his chickens. Give him ours. And his maybe his boat. Uh, what else? Everything he had in that barn. And when I say barn, it does not look like a barn. It looked like a house. It's a house barn. I bet you it's those English. Now, I've never been in it, so I don't know. But I bet you it's one of those really pretty English style barns with, um. It was on brick. Mm -hmm. The whole thing was brick. It was, it was a brick barn. But luckily, no one was hurt. No one was in there. And his house is filthy. His house was like across the yard. How did it happen? Fireworks. What I heard, I don't know. I, mean, if I don't know how they got ignited, but somehow the fireworks got ignited. I don't know if they were shooting them and hit the bag, or they were smoking, or maybe they had it next to a heater. I don't know. It is, but at least he didn't lose his house. And nobody was hurt. You can replace anything else. Yeah, except the chickens, poor little things. You can, you can replace, replace them. Replace the chickens. It's not the same chicken. What tastes the same? Can you imagine if it was Big Girl? Can't you replace her. She's a survivor. All right. She's full as a tick. Here's our pot. Look how pretty that is. Now, this is all going to cook way down. We're going to put this in the oven. At what temperature, Maddie? 400 for about an hour and a half. Just like that. Put the lid on it. Just stick him back in there. You ate that raw cabbage? The meat's cooked, so she's, she's going to be fine. I'm not going to poison her. Okay, so we'll be back in about an hour and a half and show you the finished... Um, what is it called? Jambalaya. Yeah, cabbage jambalaya. Okay, we'll see y'all back here in just a little bit. Y'all have a good one.